Hello and welcome to a new video about non-feedback controls. This time we're going to talk about realization of controls. Huh? Up to now we talked about the logic and what might be control and put them into categories and so on and described what we want to have. And now we're going to talk about possible realizations because there are some. Okay? There are pneumatic controls, huh? then there are hydraulic controls, huh? there are electrical controls, There are electronic controls. And there are programmable controls also. Programmable controls. Controls. That might be the possibilities. Yeah. Please remember, we talked about in, in what the, the sequence of control is. So, and we said the sequence of controlling is always to have first input. Yeah. Then we do process, processing, and then output. Uh, then we expect something to do. Yeah? Here we influence some work elements. Yeah? Here we're reading the outside world, here we're processing it, and here we, in, we do something in the world. Yeah? The working elements, input elements and so on. And all of these elements are available in all of these technologies. Yeah? So there are input elements which do work in a pneumatic manner. Uh, for instance, lever, lever valve uh, or push button valve. Uh, there are processing elements also in pneumatic. Uh, for instance, two pressure valves, something like this. Uh, we talked about this. Uh, and of course, there are input elements electrical, there are input elements, uh, there are processing elements electrical program. There are all of those elements are available in pretty much all of these of these control types. So the realization yeah, is really independent of the function. This is the important part. And I can even mix, if it makes sense, I can make an input electrical, I can make the processing programmable and I can make the output hydraulic. Yeah. This is not that unusual. So, basically, the solution, the controlling solution and the controlling realization, they're somewhat independent, let's say. Yeah. Of course, nowadays, the mostly used control systems are the programmable ones. PLCs are widely used currently, yeah, simply because they really got cheap. 30 years ago, this was not the case. Yeah? However, all the other control stuff, yeah, they are still used. There is no control technology which was simply replaced. It was enhanced. Yeah? Usually the most complex controls are programmable. However, sub-automatics or something like this are electrical, hydraulic, yeah? They are used in case of, of, of safety and so on. Yeah? If everything else fails, yeah, there are still hydraulic controlling elements which can bring the unit or whatever item you are controlling 
into a safe state. Yeah. So there is nothing useless. This is what I want to tell you. Yeah. Usually in a modern control system, we have several elements yeah, and pretty much we distribute, we distribute even the processing. Yeah. So if some programmable logic controller, PLC, is failing, uh, we switch back to a lower level and at least can, maybe not that good, but at least can do something. Yeah? Not, get, not let the, the unit or the, the machine get out of, yeah, out of control. Out of control, no. Uh. Next time. We're going to briefly talk about pneumatic and, and, and hydraulic controls. Uh, there are several videos about this, so in this matter, in this video series, we're only mentioning it. Yeah, this will then be in next video, and then we're going to talk about electrical, electronic and programmable calling, uh, controls in the follow-up videos. Okay. Important thing about this video now is Realization and function separated. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.